What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another live stream from the Scalar Learning Channel. We are back on that grind for the digital SAT. If you guys haven't checked out this series yet, we are doing it pretty much on the daily, usually twice a day. We're burning through these Khan Academy SAT math categories. This is gonna give you a total review of all the critical concepts that you're gonna to need to know and understand to ace the math portion of the digital SAT. Today, we're on to data inferences. And again, I'm solving these problems for the first time. And you're gonna see me problem solve and explain and do all that as I go through the problems, which is gonna be the best way for you to learn this material. So without further ado, let's do it. Four problems. This is level foundations on Khan Academy. We're moving up through medium and then the advanced afterwards. So there's three levels. All right, here we go. Genovia is a city state with 50,000 citizens. Recent poll newspaper said that three fourths of the respondents were in favor, blah, blah, blah. Citizens are represented. Approximately how many citizens are in favor? Okay, so I kind of skimmed it a little bit, but bottom line is the poll said that three fourths or 75% were in favor. So all we got to do, since they want to know approximately how many citizens of this entire population are in favor, well, it's three-fourths of 50,000. That's it, okay? And you can use a calculator to do this. Uh, I believe that's 37,500 because one-fourth is 12,500, so three-fourths is three times that value. Let's see if they have it. It is option C. That's how you do it. Boom, done. Okay, next. Remember, the entire test is calculator, so you can use a calculator. I'm just like, I don't want to open it. It doesn't open in-app, so I'm going to avoid it <laughs> where possible just to make this a smoother run of these problems. According to 2018 Gallup poll of adults around the world, um, we've got 15% of all respondents said they would like to move permanently to another country. So 15% said they would like to move to another country. This is of the global population. If the poll results are representative of the approximately 5 billion, so this must be pretend there's 5 billion because we know there's more in the world, approximately how many adults would like to move permanently? Okay, so what is this? This is, again, 15% of 5 billion or 0.15 times 5 billion. This would be a great calculator problem, but again, I'm going to try and do it without. Okay, so again, this is the same as 15 times, and then we take off two of the zeros, what would that be, 500 million or something? Or 50 million, sorry. Um, oh, This is just terrible uh, because these numbers are so big. Here, I'll do it like this. Five billion is, f oh, because it's in millions? Five billion is in five is the same as 5,000 million, right? This would be a million. So since we'll keep it in millions, it'd be 5,000 times 0.15, and we get zero, 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 25, zero. And then we got zero, 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 five added together. And we get seven, five, zero, zero, zero. And then there's two decimals, one, two. Again, you should just do this in a calculator. But it's 750 million, which means C is the winner. Again, you can do this in a calculator, no problem. Boom, done. All right, amazing. Next, according to a 2018 Gallup poll of adults around the world, wait. No, oh, same one. Sorry, didn't click next. My bad. Three or four. A survey of Hazelton residents showed that one-sixth of the respondents loved the town's annual bunny pageant. If the residents surveyed are representative of the 4,200, how many love the town's annual bunny pageant? So it's literally one-sixth love it, so we need to calculate one-sixth of the total. That's it. One-sixth of 4,200, which is the same as 4,200 divided by six, which would be 700. This is a free response. We type it in like so done final one number four here we go in a random sample of survey of employees four fifths uh responded in favor of healthier snacks if the employees surveyed are representative of all 240 how many are in favor of this so it's going to be four fifths are in favor so four fifths of 240 again you can use a calculator but that's the setup um i am going to do this without a calculator so it's the same as dividing by five multiplying the result by four so dividing by five is 48. I know that. Um, uh, just mental, a little mental trick I did, but then 4 times 48 would be 160 plus 4 times 8 is 32, so it should be 192, which means C is the winner. Again, you can do this in the calculator if need be, no problem. That's how you do it. Data inferences. Boom, done. We did the four problems. 
And like I said, we're gonna keep coming back, but check these out. This is just giving you the foundations of exactly the type of math that you need to execute to be successful. If you like this video, make sure to click that like button. And if you wanna see more, make sure to click subscribe. And if you wanna see the best digital SAT prep website, it's the SATcrashcourse.com. You can check the link in the description below. Use the code SCALAR for 20% off. That's all I got. Thank you guys so much for joining, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you, Jacob Singh, and I will see you in the next video. Take it easy.